What's happening, everybody? Welcome to part two of our uh, unit four videos on dividing fractions. What we're going to do today is build upon what we did last week, and which was dividing one fraction by another fraction, where now we're going to be taking that fraction and dividing it by a whole number, or flipping it around and dividing that whole number by a fraction. Okay, so that first number is still going to be our dividend. So one, three is, one third is going to be the number that we're dividing up. Or in this problem, we have two divided by one third and two is the number that we'll be dividing up. And our divisors would be two or one third. Okay, so I'm gonna go through four examples and uh, play, pause, stop and think about it, make sense of it, rewind it. Okay. If things don't make sense and ask me in class for the office hours, if you still have questions. So away we go. First problem is 24 divided by one half. Already right off the bat, I know that one half is a unit fraction because there is a one in the numerator. And that's a clue that's going to tell me that the answer is actually going to be a whole number. So I'm going to rewrite it and keep 24 the way it is. And multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna change that operation to multiplication and then take the reciprocal of one half, which is two over one. When I go ahead and solve this, 24 divided by two is 48 and my denominator is one, which then means that my answer is 48. So 24 divided by one half, 24 divided by one half will equal 48. Second example, I have three eighths divided by four. So I'm taking three eighths and I'm dividing it into four equal parts. These are gonna be awfully small parts when we're done. And when you see that quotient, you'll see why. But I'm taking three eighths, dividing it by four. I will keep three eighths the way that it is, change my operation to multiplication, and I'll be multiplying by the reciprocal of four over one which is one fourth. So when I go ahead and do my standard issue multiplication of fractions, three times one is three and eight times four is 32. So three eighths divided by four equals 32. And I know I'm already in simplest form right here because there isn't a number there isn't a common factor that can divide evenly into both three and 32. On to the third example. This one I have nine, nine of something, and I'm gonna div be dividing it into parts of five sixths. But I'm gonna take that nine and keep it the same. And just for good measure, make it nine over one. And then I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal of five sixths, which is six over five. Now just stop and pause for a second here. You might know already that our answer will be a fraction greater than one and that we're gonna want to make this answer or this quotient a mixed number. So when I go ahead and multiply them, nine times six is 54 and one times five is five. I cannot leave it this way. Simplest form, in this case is 54 divided by five because fractions are division, okay? And I need to see how many fives go into 54 without going over. In this case, it's 10. My denominator is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna say, all right, 10 times five is 50. 50 plus what is going to get me 54? In this case, it's four. So nine divided by five sixths equals 10 and four fifths. On to the last example here. In this case, I have five twelfths and I'm going to be dividing it by three. So I'll take five twelfths and just leave it the way it is. I'm gonna change my operation to multiplication and I'll be multiplying by the reciprocal of three or three over one. And in that case, the reciprocal is one third. Stacking my equal signs here. Five times one is five. And 12 times three is 36. So my final answer, <clears throat> five twelfths divided by three equals five 
36. So as a quick wrap up in this video, we talked about multiplying a fraction by a whole number or a whole number divided by a fraction. But no matter what, the principle of the whole algorithm stays the same. You will still be multiplying by the reciprocal every time. Okay. So in part three, uh, we'll be now introducing more mixed numbers into this, which just add is, adds another step of arithmetic in terms of um, converting a mixed number back into a fraction greater than one. But the principles will always stay the same. You'll be always multiplying by the reciprocal. So see you again soon.